Jesus. Love you, Jesus loves you. So, I feel like in, I'm always saying this, but, uh, in the Christian community, we feel like Jesus had the power to pay for our sins by dying on the cross and shedding his blood. So he had the power to pay for our sins. He had the power to heal people, to do miracles. He had the power to raise the physically dead. Why don't we think he has the power to raise the spiritually dead? Like just about every time I listen to a Christian song or a Christian sermon, it's saying like, we're not perfect, but we're getting better and better, the process of sanctification. And then it's talking about like, you know, we all fail and we all have bad days where we don't follow God and we all sin. That is not biblical Christianity. Like if you're getting better and better and getting more and more sanctified and sinning less and less, that means you're on the way to hell. If you're gradually getting more righteous, you're on the way to hell. If you have good days and bad days, spiritually, then you're on your way to hell. A true Christian, it, so Jesus had the power, Jesus had the power to raise the physically dead. He can also raise the spiritually dead. Jesus had the power to pay for our sins on the cross. But it also says Jesus came to save us from our sin. So he took the punishment of sin, but he also came, us to, came to set us free from sin. So I'm not saying that I'm sinless, but I live a holy, righteous, loving life. That's just the general. My life is holy, righteous, and loving. It's not because of me. It's because I gave my life to Jesus and Jesus lives through me through his Holy Spirit. So I don't have good days and bad days and I don't fall into sin and I don't, I'm not gradually getting more righteous. Like 11 years ago, I gave my life to Jesus and I've never turned back. I've never been like, hey, you know, forget God or whatever. I don't, I'm not gradually getting better. The Bible says you're sanctified once and for all. Never in the Bible is a process of sanctification mentioned. So, it's it, Paul, the, the writers of the New Testament, they write to people who already have been sanctified. When you're saved, you're automatically justified, regenerated, and sanctified all in one. You're already sanctified if you're a born-again Christian. So if you're gradually getting more righteous and more sanctified and you have sin some days and you do better, the other, you're not saved. You're not a Christian. So anyways, Jesus had power to pay for our sins on the cross by dying and shedding his blood, rising from the dead three days later. He also has the power to come into our heart and completely atom bomb radical transformation where we live holy lives every day, all the time. So, and that's only possible because he comes to live in us. So like the cross is amazing. The cross is awesome. It had to happen. Without the cross and the blood and the resurrection, we would all go to hell. Yes. But if Jesus doesn't come to live in you, we're all going to hell. The cross is meaningless unless you go outside the city bearing the shame and reproach and you go to Jesus and give him your whole life. You, Jesus, I'm done running my life. Jesus, from now on, whatever you want me to do, I'll do. I'm getting saved. I'm recommitting. I'm putting it all in one. Bam. Jesus, I give you my life. Take over. And then Jesus comes in. It's his Holy Spirit. The, Spirit. the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Jesus. It's the Holy Spirit. When you give your life to Jesus, when you give glory to Jesus, Jesus is the only God. You give Jesus your life. His Holy Spirit comes to live in your heart. And you're sanctified forever. You're righteous forever. You can follow Jesus every day forever because Jesus lives in you. Many people have Jesus with them, but he's not in their heart 
and it's not just Jesus, please come into my heart. You have to actually know, like, the God of the universe has rested on me and then come to live in my heart. So, um, anyways, so I just wanted to say that God, Jesus raised people from the dead. He also rose him, he raised himself from the dead. He has the power to make you holy and keep you holy. So you have to give your life to Jesus in a moment of time and a radical transformation happens. So I live a righteous life. I live a holy life. I live a loving life. And it's because of Jesus living in me because 11 years ago, I surrendered all. Um, and when I get to heaven, I will be sinless and perfect. Right now, I'm not like... Like, every born-again Christian is at least 99% perfect. Every born-again Christian is at least 99% perfect. They're following Jesus, boom. They're beaming Jesus 24-7, following him. Every Christian is 99% perfect. When you get, like, you're, 100, you're, you're righteous and holy. The Bible says the people in heaven are the spirits of the righteous made perfect. So you only go to heaven if you're already sanctified, you're already righteous, you're already holy. If you're not right with God now, you're not going to go to heaven. Like you don't suddenly become right with God when you get to heaven. If you're not righteous and holy right now, you won't be made perfect. Like get if you have get rid of the sin in your life. If you have sin in your life, you're not right with God. Like, give your life to Jesus while there's still time. Anyways, love Jesus, love you, Jesus. Have a godly great day. If it's not godly, it's not great. Mm -hmm.